We out here at Rafa's garage. We're gonna install these lips. Um, that one right there, super rare. Poster lip. Um, I'm the only one that has it. Or I seen with it. I haven't seen nobody else. The one on top of it is a stock lip. And we got the grill, stock grill for the 2000 bumper. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna install this. Um, I actually have the special screws that you need for the lip to put the grill. Um, these are it. Um, and the rest are pretty easy. The other ones are just common size 10. But these are special for the grill. If you do have the grill, not a lot of 2000s came with the grill, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So the lip is already on. Um, you have to put a screw there. Another one over here. Um, these are the ones that are special. You got one, two, three, four for the grill. And same thing over here, two right here. And if you want, there's another one over here. Same thing over here. Um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Should be fairly easy. So the lip is already on. I'm gonna put the grill right now. So grill is on, as you can see, um, later on I am going to drill a hole somewhere here and zip tie it here because right here is just by um, little rivets or not even to just go slide in there. Um, but I don't like that. The only thing that's secure by screws is the bottom one, two, three, four. All these are little tabs like that here, here, here and I don't like that. So I usually put zip types, one right here, another one over here, and then probably one over there. That way um, it's nice and secure, better than just having it there, holding it. So I'm gonna do that at the shop later on because I didn't bring the drill. I don't have a drill bit here, it's at the shop. I'll do it over there. So time to put on this lip, poster lip. See how it is. This one, it is fiberglass, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the same height or not. Um, might have to raise it up a little bit because I don't want to damage this one. So we'll see right now. fiberglass is not flexible so what I'm gonna do now is take off stock lip put it on here first and then install the lip over there both lips so we'll see how it goes <laughs> So we are here at the shop because my baby's here and to put on this lip. Uh, the lip is already on. I uh, just got to put on the grills, the top grill right there, and then the JDM side markers. I do have to drill some holes, a hole right there for the fasteners. Uh, and like I said, for the grill too, I'm gonna drill a hole. The drill bits and the drill are here, so that's why I brought it over here. I might have to raise it 
I don't know. Um, I'm gonna test fit it, see how it is. Um, if it seems too low that I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna raise it up like probably an inch. That's all I need. And we'll see how it goes. markers are in the grill is on right there so this is a little preview how it's gonna look I'm gonna slap it on right now and see how low it is hopefully not that low it doesn't seem that low that's a good thing It looks pretty all right from the front, but when you get down here to the side, it's too low. Um, I don't want to damage it, so I am going to raise it up half an inch. That's it. Um, that way I don't scrape and I don't fuck up this rear lip. So that's what I'm going to do. The grill's already on. The sign marker's already on. They still work. Try them on. Sweet. So... So what I'm gonna do right now, raise it up a little bit, and call it a day. Uh, later on, I'll clean it up. It's barely, like Wednesday. Wednesday, show is not until Saturday, so I'll wash it Thursday or Friday. raised it up half an inch right there uh, that's where I'm gonna go uh, always remember to clean this uh, it always gets dusty so makes it easier um, this is only the one side now I just gotta do the other side so let's get to it This side's done already. I just gotta put everything back together and see how it sits. Hopefully it sits fine. I don't have to raise it up another half an inch. Nice and ready already. Raised it up. Uh, it sits a little higher, half an inch, but it's where I wanted to be. Um, now it's actually like three fingers right there. So that's enough clearance for me to go up the sidewalks, at least for me, uh, without scraping. So that's it. She just needs a nice wash and she's ready for torque. So. I'll do that in a couple of days and then we'll head out to Torque.